Throughout this entire experiment, you two have had great chemistry, but Jason, you had your doubts. Everything just seemed too perfect. You know, Courtney was always there. She never did anything for, to make me think that, but it was my insecurities. I remember thinking to myself, like, like give, give her your all, give her everything you have, because this is, this feels so right. But then the other part of me was saying, like, Jason, you protect yourself, protect the person that you are, and are, are you gonna let this girl in your life, and then let's say she causes issues, and do I want that in my life? Do I wanna have that? So it was, it was a big conflicting thing for a while. Can you explain to him what it means that he is still here today and that at any moment he didn't pack up and say, I can't take this anymore. I have a, a lot of baggage and I have a lot of issues, you know, and and I'm kind of a tough one to love. I really am because I'm, I'm so guarded and I make it difficult for someone to be able to love me because I'm just, I guess I'm so scared of it. And you never, ever, ever said anything negative and you always have my back and that's what I needed in a, in a husband. I'm sorry, I made it so tough. You don't have to apologize. But I'm thankful that you're still here and you know, and that you dealt with me and all my issues and all my baggage. You let me cry. <laughs> Talk, how does that make you feel? <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, you know, it, I never saw it as, as tough and it was tough, dog. It was tough. <laughs> he just cracks a joke and like makes it seem like it was easy for him, but I mean, it wasn't how you imagine a fairy tale to go. But I don't think that I did anything out of the ordinary because I don't know. I just I I really knew you were worth it. I knew from the very beginning something wasn't right between me and you. But I really wish you would just admit that you were turned off that I wasn't the stable guy that you really wanted. I'm not a 40-year-old guy who's a CEO of whatever company so you can instantly have kids with. And that's the major issue. Were you turned off when you learned about his work ethic and the type of job he had? I ask for a man with direction, meaning you might make a mistake, it might not work out, but you have, um, you have done the work to figure out how to get to whatever the next level is. When I asked what he wanted to do and what he told me he wanted to do, I knew that he did none of the legwork to figure out how to get there. Did you marry for love or did you marry for money? Huh? No, because you, <laughs> you're saying love. Well, you're saying love, but you're saying you had you wanted you know these specific things from Vaughn. No. I knew Vaughn wanted those things, but I knew Vaughn hadn't done the research to figure out how to get the things that he wanted. You know, you were really turned off by that, and, and I could feel that, and I thought, that's not fair, and I, I resented you for that. At that point, I was done. Let's get a couple of questions from Twitter, and this is to everybody. A lot of viewers have written in wondering, do you believe in love at first sight? Married at first sight, six months later, a two-hour event, Tuesday at 9 on FYI.